स्लीप डिजॉर्डर्स डीएसएम फाइव क्राइटेरिया और टाइप्स ऑफ स्लीपिंग डिजॉर्डर्स सो फर्स्ट लेटर सी व्हाट इज स्लीप स्लीप इज नथिंग बट रिवर्सिबल रिलैक्स्ड स्टेट ऑफ बॉडी एंड माइंड विथ अनरेस्पॉन्सिवनेस टू द सराउंडिंग्स सो इट इज नथिंग बट सिंपल वर्ड्स रिलैक्स स्टेट ऑफ बॉडी एंड माइंड दट इज स्लीप The sleep has commonly two stages that is REM and NREM. REM means rapid eye movement. Okay, that is twenty percent where mind is alert and body is relaxed. Coming to NREM, that is non-rapid eye movement. That is eighty percent where the mind is relaxed, opposite to above. Okay, mind is relaxed and body is active. This is about the sleep aspects. So. we have some disturbances related to sleep patterns those are all called as parasomnias which are characterized by activation of physiological symptoms at inappropriate timings so these are all contributing to various sleep disorders namely obstructive sleep apnea osa sleep walking or somnambulism sleep terror disorder nightmares restless uh, leg syndrome Okay, let us see one by one. Obstructive sleep apnea, temporary cessation or stopping of breathing while sleeping just for more than ten seconds is called as obstructive sleep apnea. This can be classified as three types. If it is for fifteen uh, seconds, it is called as mild obstructive sleep apnea. It is up to thirty seconds means moderate. More than thirty seconds represents as severe obstructive sleep apnea, which even uh, can take the life of the person. The best recent example is uh, music uh, director Bappi Lahiri has died with obstructive sleep apnea. So here the uh, main aspect is disturbed sleep, which is due to obstruction of upper airway structures. when the respiration center in brain is failed to stimulate the respirations it is called as central sleep apnea so it is related to brain, uh, respiratory center it leads to poor sleep qualities uh, means uh, the quality of sleep can be reduced or affected which affects in turn the ideal that is activities of daily living then daytime sleep patterns will also will be changed means they will be sleeping more time in the day okay without uh, doing all the uh, duly uh, duties the excess day time fatigue can affect the concentration attention and activities of daily living the causes can be associated with ptsd that is post traumatic stress syndrome mood swings or mood disorders anxiety patients and it is also associated with psychiatric pathology there will be some pathology related to brain others can be and which are very common are <coughs> increased weight obesity which affects the soft tissues of mouth and throat see here what happens is so when the throat and tongue muscles are relaxed the soft tissue causes blocking of the airway thereby causing the obstruction okay the actually because excessive tissue once the, the they are obese they will be having this soft tissue affecting the airway okay there will not be any clear airway that causes the obstruction causing the obstructive sleep apnea the signs and symptoms of sleep apnea uh, can be snoring gasping gasping then daytime sleep disruptive uh, behavior abuse aggression irritable sleep injuries then uh, dyspnea difficulty in breathing poor quality of sleep depression uh, moving uh, early morning with headaches then moving fatigue nocturnal sweating sleeplessness etc all these can contribute to disturbed sleep in the person coming to other problem that is less uh, sorry sleep walking or somnambulism that is raising from the bed and walking with a blank face that is called is very common somnambulism okay just uh, there will be just raising from the bed and walking here and there in the room during the night time commonly it runs in the families means there will may be a factor of heredity due to stress and sleep uh, disturbances 
and due to some drugs and the breathing disturbances and some other neurological problems like fevers migraines then uh, sleep apnea child sleeping patterns extreme fatigue decreased uh, sleep <coughs> decreased uh, sleep styles or patterns and uh, not responding to the others or calls during this uh, period or episode then decrease the recall of that event actually the client or the child may not be knowing what had happened previous night so that is a story of sleep walking or somnambulism which is quite common in a few that can be children or adults too sleep terror disorder the cause is unknown but it may be due to fevers decreased sleep periods emotional tensions stress or conflicts repeated occurrence of disturbed sleep with uh, parkinsons uh, or not sorry sorry parkinsons uh, st- panicky dreams so commonly the main feature is in the sleep uh, terror disorder is will be having panic attacks okay disturbed sleep with panicky dreams of awakening and the behavioral manifestations of intense fear on awakening no recall or fragmentary recall only seen so they can say only few points or sometimes may not do coming to nightmares frightening dreams occurring during the rem sleep and common in early morning time awakening sleep fully uh, alert then disturbed and it's very common in 10 to 15% of children that is sleep awake disorder it's also called as sleep awake disorder that's about nightmares they will be uh, frightened with the dreams and getting up sitting in the bed next thing restless leg syndrome that is irresistible urge to move the legs this can occur while sitting or sleeping it worsens with age and disturbs the sleep patterns the causes can be imbalances in dopamine that is a hormone in the brain then irrelevant or irregular muscle movements this is also one contributing factors and others can be uh, iron deficiency anemia and peripheral neuropathy especially in the case of uh, diabetes mellitus parkinson's disease and varicose veins where there is a damage of nerves especially peripheral areas means legs okay or fingers we can say coming to the treatment or remedy aspects uh, for sleep disturbances to improve the sleep uh, patterns or uh, deep sleep we can have some measures that is initially the sleeping habits should be improved with along with good lifestyle and dietary management others can be self care steps lifestyle changes stimulants for sleep like one cup of warm milk with turmeric powder just uh, before bed antidepressants uh, especially for adults not children okay who are very anxious and tense uh, lack of sleep they can have so doctors can prescribe the antidepressant for them and reading books listening to melodious music peaceful room atmosphere by uh, having posters or pictures of natural beauty or uh, some uh, which can make us calm and relaxed before we go to sleep so that the stress can be avoided and patient, uh, client can go to deep sleep the cold medications like cetrazine or cough syrups not daily sometimes okay they can induce the sleep when they are restless then assistive breathing devices or surgery for sleep apnea means where there is a higher or more growth of soft tissues especially in the case of uh, obese people okay that surgeries can be planned then dental guard for teeth grinding so some children will be grinding the teeth during the sleep time so to avoid that disturbances they can have the dental guards then avoid alcohols or coffee teas during the night times which may affect the sleeping pattern then uh, they can use the medications or sometimes melanin supplements which can, which also can induce the sleep keep cool and go dark peacefully in a pleasant manner and means lighting and everything should be amiable or friendly or relaxed manner okay not irritating or high lights during the sleep time so it's a combination of lifestyle and medications that can improve the sleeping patterns 
then eat moderately and early to bed and early to rise is the key principle to be healthy or have a better uh, sleep regular exercise and avoiding day sleep more than one hour so if you sleep for long hours in the day time we cannot have a uh, sound sleep during the night time so, so these are the few aspects related to uh, sleep disorders and their remedy measures thank you